Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to do four ways to cylinder in FreeCAD 0.19. Um, I'll be working in the part design workbench, and there's two ways in there, the part workbench and the draft workbench. I'll have to switch to 0, 0, 0.018 for the draft workbench as my 1.9 draft workbench is, is uh, acting up a little bit. Before we uh, get going, I'd like to invite you to over to my uh, Patreon page. It's uh, Math Code Print. And I'd like to invite you to think about uh, donating like a dollar a month or something so I can keep doing these videos and uh, make it a little more worthwhile. Um, but I love doing them, and let's get to it. Uh, so let's start out by just creating a new document. We'll do all these in a new one. So I'm going to start out with a solid in part design. So or a, It's called a primitive. So you have two ways to do a primitive, and I'll show you how to use each of the cylinders in that. So I'm going to start by adding a body. And then I'm just going to click on the uh, cylinder primitive. If it's not showing, you can click on this pull down and select additive cylinder. So my first one's going to be additive. You can change the radius here and change the height. And the really neat thing about doing it in the part workbench is you can do an attachment right as you're creating, which I do like. So you see there's the attachment here, and it's as asking you to select the first attachment. So say if I wanted it attached to the YZ, you'll see the origin snaps to the uh, origin of the YZ plane. Um, I'm not going to get into the, the second levels because it'll, that'll... So right now the center of this base is attached and you can pick a direction and stuff for the cylinder. So um, there's a lot you can do with these attachments. And you'll see there's different modes for the attachment or what, but that's going to be beyond the scope of this, this video. I'll probably do one just for this at another time. So let's leave it attached. To, so to change it, you just you uh, re-click the button next to the selection and I'm going to put it back on the XY so it looks the same and then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to do a uh, subtractive cylinder so you see mine's already selected again you can go to it like that and let's we'll make it smaller and taller so we can see it okay and uh, let's see I think I don't know if this will do yeah, so if you want it, if you want it shifted down, like there's no um, center it on the two planes, you have to uh, you have to attach and then move it down. So I'm going to attach it to here, and then we'll move it down in in the z direction one or two, and that's the hard way to get a pipe. So there we go. There, those are the two types of cylinders you can do in the part design workbench, and now let's do it sketch based in the part design workbench. I'm going to do another body. And I'm going to add a sketch right away, and we'll do it in the same X Y plane. And let's um, let's go over and hide this body so it's not in our way. So then we'll go back to our sketch. So um, I'm just going to draw a circle, and like that. Now it's a good idea for your sketches, for your sketch objects to be centered around your origin. It just makes it a whole lot easier for other reasons. Um, not all of which I can explain. We'll just make it 10 millimeter. Uh, so that one will be a little bit bigger. So that's a 10 millimeter radius. So what we're going to do right away is we're going to pad this sketch. And you'll see it's set to 10 millimeters. Let's, um, let's look at that other one and see how tall that one is. So that one's a little, that's, that's fine. We'll leave it so we can see it real nice. So, so I'm going to say, okay, now you could pad. Um, right now I'm just padding in the positive Z of the sketch. So our sketch was on the X, Y plane and I'm padding in the positive Z this way. You can you can pad symmetric to the plane, so you see how it shifted. And if I show the plane here, let's sh show the uh, X, Y. Uh, missing something there. Oh, I gotta do origin. So you can see it's halfway through the X, Y, like that, um, when it's se selected as symmetric. Or you could reverse it to go in the opposite of the, of the normal. Okay, so we'll we'll just leave it normally like that. Now, if you want if you want to move this sketch away around, the best way at this point in version nine is to add it into a part object. So I can slam this body over into the part, and now I can transform it. And the reason why that is useful is it moves the whole the whole contents of the part. So now see how my uh, my cylinder is is tilted and whatnot. Let's see if I can hide that origin. That's really ugly to look at. Um, but if I go into my sketch, 
it's still centered at zero zero. So all my sketch logic, if I rotate, is around zero zero. So uh, that's a good idea to do. So the third way is the draft workbench. Let's go over to draft. And let's let's show this and get rid of the origin again. Okay. So now let's go over to the draft workbench and we'll add it here. Now this probably won't work because well let, we'll find out. Oh, let's. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this piece because I'm going to do my draft at zero zero two. So I'm going to do a draft workbench. I'm going to do a circle. And I'll just pick a random size. Now this is one of the problems I'm having. See how it says make face? I didn't get a face. So I'd have to, in order to get a good extrusion, the extrusion the way I want, a solid, I'd have to uh, turn that into a face. So let's just bring over FreeCAD, and I've already done it some here. Let's start fresh. Discard, let's close, it, close that. Let's close that, <laughs> and we'll do a new document. We'll go right over into draft mode. Um, and show our, okay. So I'm um, looking down from the top. Let's make sure our working plane is from the top as well. And this is, this frustrates the heck out of me because some, oh, there, okay. Some, so that's a problem on my 1.8 is sometimes my working plane just disappears. So let's just draw our circle and you'll see at this point, it it's filled this time, it has a face. So that's, that's what we want. Oh, and I got two working planes, yeah, that's just great. Okay, so I'm gonna move this to front and I'm gonna change this to front as well, see if it changes. Yep, so there's two ways to extrude this. Is one right in draft, with the item selected, you can do trim or uh, uh, tr trim or extend. I'm gonna do extend. So it's gonna ask me how far I want and because I've already changed my viewpoint, I can just pick a point and that's gonna ex extend it to in the Z direction from my object. The other way, is it, let's kill that extrusion is with my circle I can go over into the part workbench and this is a little bit easier so in the part workbench it by default is going to extrude so here's our extrusion here it's going to extrude it in uh, along the normal so that's pointing out straight from the middle of the circle you can change that but you know, a lot of times you just want it straight out from the you know the Z direction of the sketch or draft so if you just click OK you get your extrusion and uh, and that's it. So that's our three different ways to, or was that three or four? That was four. So you, there are more. Believe it or not, I could do uh, I could do a square and rotate it, like a rectangle and rotate it. And that's a fun way to do it. Um, uh, there's there's a lot of ways to create a cylinder. But anyway, I hope this uh, is a good basic primitives for you. And uh, I hope you enjoy. Make sure you subscribe and click on the alarm bell so you get notified. And have a great day.